slumbering ones. Flame Princess sang about an event passed down through history in the royal line of fire people, an event that led to the creation of the Fire Kingdom as we know it. Many people are already well aware that two of these so-called fire giants made an appearance at the end of The More You Mow, The Mow You Know. One fire giant outside the window has its construction nearly complete, while the head of the one we see on the blueprint is being towed. Both of these were among the six secret sacred relics possessed by the Fire Kingdom before PB tricked FP into destroying five of them. I believe the fire giants are entirely incidental to the age of fire that they kickstarted. I don't think Mo's reason for inventing them had any anything to do with the fire people at all. The nobility treated these objects as protectors because they ended the age where fire people were still afraid of the dark. Because they provided a source of life in a time of uncertainty and fear, since fire people derived their energy from the resources around them, they became revered as sacred guardians. Now before doing some additional digging into the Adventure Time lore for this specific video, I used to think that Mo invented these giants to construct something on our neighbor planet. The blueprint underneath the fire giants is for the bubble which contains the Martian Super Society. It can't really be anything else, there's even an inner bubble surrounded by spires just like the real thing. This schematic and the bubble on Mars match each other perfectly. So the idea I've held since The More You Mow, The Mow You Know premiered is that these so-called fire giants were constructed to fly to Mars and initiate or help with the construction of the bubble. In a more ridiculous and wacky version of this idea, perhaps the bubble was constructed in Earth's orbit and these fire giants were supposed to transport the bubble to Mars and plant it onto the planet. I had assumed that Abraham Lincoln, being the prominent and well-known guy he is, reached out to Mo for help in constructing the Martian society shortly after the Mushroom War had occurred. My theory in regards to the Fire Kingdom is that at some point these fire giants malfunctioned and got pulled back into Earth's orbit and crashed into the planet. When Flame Princess sings that Sentinels crashing down out of the blue Creating a kingdom of red hue. It is recounting how these objects literally fell out of the sky and crashed into the land, creating a volcanic landscape that could fuel the existence of the Fire Kingdom. While the fire giants may seem easy to destroy, seeing as how FP did so by accident, these were inactive, slumbering giants. To survive the crash described in the song, I simply assume they are far more durable when active, perhaps even having energy shielding around them or something along those lines. So that used to be my theory on the subject. After doing some more sleuthing through Adventure Time's abundant lore, however, it became apparent that my theory has a major hole in it. In the episode Orgolorg, we learned that the King of Mars, aka Abe Lincoln, decreed for Orgolorg to be cast down and Grob Gob Glob and Grod carried the act out. After being defeated, Orgolorg fell to Earth and transformed into Gunter. Gunter had a lengthy existence before meeting Ice King. He was living it up on Earth far enough in the past to end up on ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. That means Abe Lincoln was the King of Mars at least several thousand years before the Mushroom War, and the Martian society obviously already existed as well. In the Adventure Time lore, Abe Lincoln is a fictionalized, legendary, immortal figure, and he can exist super far back in time with no real problem. He doesn't have to match his real-life historical equivalent. Mo, on the other hand, sure, he's been keeping himself alive by replacing his body with technology bit by bit, but I doubt he was alive and constructing the Mo's thousands of years before the Mushroom War. The thought that there's this ginormous bunker in the middle of nowhere where a single man is somehow developing super advanced technology before even ancient Egyptian civilization arose? I personally have a hard time accepting accepting that. And of course, even in the off chance that Mo somehow was alive way back in history, my idea about malfunctioning fire giants crashing out of the sky after the Mushroom War to create a volcanic landscape makes no sense if the Martian society was already developed long before the Mushroom War ever took place. So now, I have a revised theory. The schematic of the Martian dome on Mo's desk is not a blueprint, it's not a design, but rather it's a diagram Mo drew by observing Mars and noticing that there's a society on it. Mo is fascinated with space after all. Recall Amo recounting Mo's last request before he died. Send my mind into space so I may spend eons among the stars and other brilliant gases. 
Did pre-mushroom or humans know of this Martian society? It does cover a large chunk of the planet after all, it wouldn't be hard to see through a telescope. Maybe, maybe not. I can easily imagine an explanation that the Martian society used some sort of cloaking technology to conceal themselves, but Mo was able to devise a way to glance past that. So perhaps Mo witnessed that Mars had an entire thriving society on it after the Mushroom War and wanted to communicate and reach out to them. Mars may have been kind of ignoring Earth, sending radio waves or other such forms of communication would yield no results, so Mo designed an entire fleet of what would later be called fire giants to fly to Mars for the purposes of establishing communication. Mars, on the other hand, saw that a bunch of strange objects were being fired toward their planet, so they shot them down. And then, the rest of my theory as I already described occurs. They fell back to Earth, crashing and creating a volcanic landscape that ignited the Fire Kingdom. Most of them were destroyed in the process, but six survived the ordeal intact, hence Flame Princess singing, Now there's only few. And that's my current explanation, though I'm eager to revise it as necessary if more information is given to us. Alternatively, you could always explain away discrepancies as continuity errors, but I think it's more fun to try and weave elaborate explanations, as long as they continue to make logical sense and have some evidence to support them. Let me know if you have other zany ideas on Mo and the Fire Giants.